Namaste, how are you today? Good. Uh, these days we are into the detailed study of Sangeet Ratnakar and Natya Shastra. So in the process of Sangeet Ratnakar study, Lasyanga is one of the most important uh, concepts and information that uh, Sangeet Ratnakar deals with. Lasyanga, as you can easily see, is made up of two words, that is Lasya and Anga. Lasya means tender or graceful dance. The main root of the word is Las, Lasati Iti Lasya. This means the one that is radiant, shining and feminine graceful, that is the Lasya. In Indian music, rhythm is given unmatched importance. Rhythm or Tala is made of two parts. Ta, that is Tandava and La, that is Lasya. This means that Tal is parented by Shiva and Parvati themselves. It is believed that Tandava is the dance performed by Shiva, while last year is the dance performed by Goddess Parvati. When Lord Shiva performed the Tandava, he felt that it lacked the lusciousness and delicateness. So he asked the Goddess Parvati to perform a dance. To this, Parvati performed a very captivatingly beautiful dance that is full, that was full of delicateness and beauty. It is believed that Lord Shiva was extremely impressed with Goddess Parvati's dance and gave it the name Lasya. The Natyotpati also mentions a similar story. So as you see, these are all the myths associated with the coming of the masculine and the feminine dance. In Natyotpati, it also mentions a similar story, whereas Goddess Parvati engages in a dance that is so graceful, it was performed by her and then she gives it to Usha, who was the daughter of great King Bana. Princess Usha then went on to teach the dance form to the gopis of Dwaravati. The gopis ended up teaching the dance to the entire Saurashtra region. In this manner, the last year dance got spread in entire India. The meaning of word last year is taken in three different ways. Last year as an expression, a style, a kind. Last year to Sukumara Shadanga Makaradvaja Vardhanam. Thus, the body movements of the women who entice the Madana or Lord Kama is also known as Lasya. Lasyanga is a feminine graceful dance. It also used as an exhibition to the public like the Margam of Bharatanatyam. Thus, the way Margam is organized in Bharatanatyam, Lasyanga is also performed publicly in the form of one dance sequence after another. Third, Lasyanga could also mean in this drama, the female performer is a friend in one time and the lead in the next time. The Shringara theme of expression is of utmost importance here, Lasyanga used in this performance. So as you see, Lasyanga means differently and different connotations on different situations. From this, we understand that when a dance is performed with lusciousness and delicateness, it is called Lasya or Lasyanga. Lasya is a very delicate dance and yet it is very beautiful. The delicate movements of the female performers make the dance glamorous and elegant. 
it is also used in nritya nritya in natya the shringara rasa is principal in lasya natya shastra mentions 12 types of lasyanga the dasha rupaka mention 10 types of lasyanga that is geya pada sita pathya asin pushpa gandhika prachedaka trishul सैंध्यवाक्य द्विदुधक उत्तमोत्तक उक्त प्रयुक्त एंड नाट्यशास्त्र मेन्शन्स टू मोर टाइप्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम द अबाव टेन दैट इज विचित्रपाद एंड भावित इट ऑल्सो डिस्क्राइब्स टू टाइप्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इन रित्त रत्नावली ऑफ जय सेनापति ही मेन्शन्स Twelve types of last yanga. In Sangeet Ratnakar of Sharanga Deva, mentions ten types of last yanga and also calls them desi langa. Last. The seventh chapter of Sangeet Ratnakar has forty, and Sangeet Ratnavali has forty chapters. While in the thirty-second section of Natya Shastra, has a detailed description of the application of last yanga. First, let's see. about the description of lasyanga as given by the bharata muni natya shastra ba they are fun geya pada that the performer sits and sings a song while playing the veena then sthita pathya that is the performer reads as well as acts asin in this lasyanga the performer expresses the emotions of separation from a loved one instruments are not used in this performance the song has lack of instrumental rhythm pushpa gandhika here the actress acts like a man and converses with her friend this lasyanga involves application of chari angahara and such prachhed this is the song of separation This last yanga describes the night scene. In the night, the actress feels sad and dejected. Looking at the moon and the stars, this emotion is depicted in the performance. The sixth is Triguta. In this last yanga performance, the actress praises the actor's bravery and courage. Sometimes this last yanga depicts anger too. Seventh is Sandhava Vakya. This last yanga shows the betrayal of the actress. In this, the actor calls the actress at a point of rendezvous. However, he does not himself turn up at the time. This disappoints the actress as the actor does not keep his word that he had given her. In this way, the nayika feels betrayed and sad at being insulted and cheated. In this situation, as well as her emotions is depicted in last yanga we can call this maybe as a khandita nayika the dvigudhaka this last yanga describes different auspicious occasions in a very detailed and interesting manner uttamottama in this last yanga the nayika sings a love song that describes kama deva This last yanga depicts expression of the different shades of love. Vichitra pada. Here the actress paints a picture of the actor and feels sad looking at it. This expression is depicted in the vichitra pada last yanga. Utprayukta. In this last yanga the nayaka and the nayika ask questions of each other and answer them. It is like a question answer session. This last yanga expresses multiple emotions like joy, anger, arguments, love, such. And the last is bhavi tapada, the twelfth. The nayika sees the nayaka in her dreams, and she tells the entire story to her friend. This entire situation is depicted in bhavi tapada. The role of the friend is essential in this last yanga. In Nritya Shastra of Ashoka Malla, the last yanga is described in a lot of detail. According to him, there were twelve margasthit last yanga, 
and 37 deshi lasyanga. The types of margasthit lasyanga are sthita patya, when a sad naika stands up and fixes out the prose, expressing her feelings of sadness and disappointment. Then this is sthita patya lasyanga. Asin, here the actress is broken with worry and dejection and is devoid of any words and expressions. The intellectual calls this Asin La Syang. Saindhava, here the characters are unaware of the time or acting and even words and the language used is Sindhu region. This La Syang is thus called Saindhava La Syang. Pushpa Mandika, here the performers are devoid of any bodily oral or any other organized movements and their songs, instruments and dance is very strange. It is called Pushpa Mandika. Prachedaka, the dance performed to depict the women, give up all shame and go to their criminal beloveds in the bright moonlit is called Prachedaka. Sheshapada Lasyanga in which the performers extremely good with instruments like the veena, sarangi, sit in peace and sing and is called Sheshapada. Dvimuda, when a sentence comprises of words with multiple meanings as well as much and pratimukha sandhi, it is called the Dvimukha's last yanga. Trimuda, the one that is tied with Ramaniya and alphabets and has a lot of expression in it, completed with Alankara and has the same vritti all over, is called Trimuda Lasyanga. Vaibhavika, when the actress sees her beloved in her dreams and feels sexually aroused and the expresses a wide range of emotions, it is called Vaibhavika Lasyanga. Chitrapadha, here the actress sees her beloved in the picture and feels attracted to him and breaks down in an arousal. This last yanga is called Chitrapadha. Ukta Prayukta, when intellectuals use words that consist of alleging words that have multiple meanings, it is called Ukta Prayukta last yanga. And Uttamottama, the twelfth, the sequence that are full of different rasas and emotions, beauty and different types of expressions is called Uttamottama Lasyanga. It includes looking at each other with joy, embracing in fear, speaking in anger and breaking down into tears and crying. These are all expressions expressed in Uttamottama Lasyanga. And then let us look into the Desi type of Lasyanga. Ashoka Malla discusses 37 Lasyangas which are Desi in his Nratyadaya. They are Chali, when the arm, waist, thigh and foot are moved in the same time in a show, not very fast speed with sweetness, expression smoothness and irritation. Ashokumala calls it Chali Lasyanga. Chali Vata When Chali Lasyanga incorporates speed and straightforwardness, it becomes Chali Vata. Trika When the ears are devoid of all ornaments obtained for the Leela, and moved in as fast as well as low pace is called Trika Lasyanga. Mana, when some incomplete element of the Shringara Rasa, which is extremely small but capable of being acted out and be second only from the point of view of Natyanga, then the intellectuals have called it Mana Lasyanga. Lodhi, the synchronization of the arms and the waist, which is soft, sweet, slanted but full of expression, it is called Lodhi Lasyanga. Another set of experts are of opinion that one that is complete of complete of the weight of beauty, which is Vyutpanna from the Sangeeta Sanyoga, 
which being devoid of expressive happiness is known as lodhi lasyanga urokanna if the shoulders and chest are moved sequentially or at the same time or with specific time gaps in rhythmic up and down movements it is called urokanna lasyanga the vigna nartaka abhitit is from the word trag some experts believe that the horses of chest and shoulder when beautifully slanted and moved its tops or in a spiri fashion it is called uron kana some experts believe that it is the rhythmic fast shaking of the body by the performer which is uron kana lasyanga the natya community calls this as acharya rachana trikali when the performer delights the audience by using the five mudras vidyut akampita adyut parivahita and kampita during a chari or a sthana it is called trikali lasyanga kintu when the arms chest and kati are moved in synchronized manner in rhythm with the ramani song it is called kintu lasyanga so we can go in detail of all 36 lasyanga all these lasyanga that we are doing now the deshi lasyanga is described by ashokamalla when you go through them uh, each one you realize that each one is describing a dance some kind of a dance uh, mixed with uh, theater dance music everything and uh, very interesting but uh, perhaps not very easy to recreate Uh, some forms are recreated but some uh, and maybe the names are not given anyway so let's go further uh, with this it may become little difficult to remember the names of each 37 but the main purpose here to go into this detail is that you realize what it is and how and what it would be useful for your understanding of the vast depth of knowledge that our performing arts had and how in future it will take you further to keep this knowledge intact and further develop into that so now we go to the next uh, deshi lasyanga as described by the ashokamalla uh, kintu when the arms chest and kati are moved in synchronized manner in rhythm with a ramani song it is called kintu lasyanga Ninth is nijapan, when the actor performs anrutta in very beautiful manner and is looked at while he has a beautiful lady in his arms who is also capable of captivating the audience. Then it is called nijapan lasyang. Teshikar, the different form, the village setting, and per the tattak country involves the practice of different kinds. then it is called deshika lasyanga ullas when the rhythms of the characters being depicted get shown at a faster pace or get doubled or tripled while indicating expressions including the minutest of the body expression expressing joy are shown appropriately then virasinga san calls it ullas lasyanga the 12th is bhasaka lalitam when the lalita hand is taken below the chest then it is called the bhasaka lasyanga bhava when the dance is followed by the song and the song is perfect in the rhythm and the joy obtained for performing is shared with everyone and expressed with sweetness and dance is called bhava lasyanga shukalasa if the lasyanga comprises of chari feet etc also moved the words of the narrator are spaced between the song and instrument and all are mixed together then the experts in the field of art have called it sukalaya lasyanga another set of experts call the coming together of song instruments and rhythm with sthana chari and hands in one sequence as sukalas lasyanga laya when during the dance different rhythms are mixed into an 
ongoing rhythm while the performer stands astonished is called laya lasyanga 16th dhal when the body is moved in a very delicate manner like the moving of a drop of water on the petals of lotus it is called dhal lasyanga cheva when the corners of the eyes of the actress the nayika are swatha swagartha bhava gitartha and restless then the experts call is cheya lasyanga angahara when the two halves of the body are bent like a bow in a rhythmic beautiful manner then it is called angahara lasyanga langa hit when the performer violates the words of the instruments repeatedly and dances with frequent pauses it is called langit lasyanga vihasi when the dance is performed with beautiful smile it is called vihasi lasyanga when the actress during the dance does not find any fault in the song instrument rhythm and pace while captivating the minds of the audience then it is called nikki lasyanga nimanika when it is very difficult experiment without any trials the performer's body bows down then it enhances the pleasure of the onlookers and the experts call it namanika lasyanga shanka when the actress moves purposefully in a joyful manner while moving the body forward and synchronizing the movements of the side dancing in a manner as if she is robbing everyone then it is called shanka lasyanga shanka lasyanga pitat when chari karana etc are even tough then the strength of the person and yet performed with ease and naturally in a very beautiful manner then it is called vitat lasyanga geet vadyat when the actress dances appropriate to the song and instruments while also being accompanied by the words and rhythm then it is called the geet vatya the lasyanga vivartana when the performer performs explaining the meaning of the instruments in the song with his hands chari karana and bramari while dancing it is called vivartana lasyanga sthapana in the exact middle of the performance then the body is settled into the earth in such a manner that the colors of the face as well as the entire line can be seen clearly then it is called sthapana lasyanga tharahara when the nayika during the performance spreads the very fast shaking of her chest to her arms and uses it in her performance it is called tharahara lasyanga shaushthava mentioned previously is shortened by 4 8 or 12 finger lengths per the customs of the region or per the wishes of the king then it is called shaushthava lasyanga struva just like the gentle breeze keeps the lamp's flame moving when the body is kept moving it is called the struva lasyanga manasant when the hands of the performer during the dance are followed by the mukda trigda loop and it is spread then it is called masant lasyanga upar when the initially started dance ornamental elements are in pieces and they go on to perform a whole while going forward in the rhythm in a very able manner then it is called upa upar lasyanga anganga anga is called alasanga while ananga is called tandava when both of these are incorporated in a dance they are called ananganga lasanga abhinaya when the performer with his or her body expresses and creates the karana etc in a very good manner then it is called abhinaya lasanga komalika when the actress performs of valana of their body with different movements and the beauty and elegance is born out of it it is called komalika mukhar when the performer with his face expresses the tat tat rasa while changing the words is called mukhar lasyanga dhilai when the dance the nayika with a good heart expresses it 
with her expressions while also expressing joy and sweetness and also the expressions indicating the shingara rasa exhibiting the beauty of her body and spreading it it is called dilai lasyang so these are 37 deshi lasyang as described by ashokamalla who describes 12 margi and 37 desi lasyang in uh, sharanga deva in sangeet ratnakar mentions 10 lasyang his types come from among the 12 types listed in the natya shastra and 47 listed by ashokamalla in ritya adhyay some of them come from natya shastra while some from the nritya shastra now let's discuss this 10 lasyangas as listed by sharanga deva they are as chali chali vada ladi sukha urongan dhasaka angahara odhar vihasiyanman these are the 10 types of lasyanga as listed by sharanga deva we are already familiar with the name of desi lasyang now let's say chali which is komala vilasa muktam madhura tal lay muktam thus not very fast and not very slow just medium and trayashra pachur feet waist and biceps are moved together then this is called chali chali vad when the chali lasyanga is done at a faster pace and multiple times then it is called chali vid ladi sukumaram tirashridam vilasa rasikam chayat yug vat kati bahunam chalanam sa ladhir mat iti ladiya this means that the delicate dance performed with the joyful and elegant movements of the waist and the arms then is called ladhi sukam is when a dance is performed wearing the karna bhushana that are leela yukta <coughs> and shobhayaman then it is called the sukha in the same manner the dance with frequent pauses and yet fast in pace and the movement of the ornaments worn in the ears at this time is extremely captivating and it is value is held more than the shingara bhava and is very attractive the advanced expressions of the nose eyes and eyebrows as well as the ideas of the mind are extremely captivating and are present in it then it is called sukha then we come to urongan it means that the dance performed with pauses and at fast pace with beautiful movements of the shoulder and the chest with slanting expression then it is called urongan the sixth lasyanga of uh, sharanga deva is dhasaka uh, the catching very captivating pace the chest movements hence done are called dhasaka then it is aingahara that is the movements of half the body full of rhythm and lalitya in a sequential manner like dhatushya is called angahara athar it is the organization done in the somewhat slow and slated movements of the head is called odhar and mana when a sthayi pace is got from the very start of the performance and the dance is performed to match this pace then it is called mana vihasi the acting and the dance full of shingara rasa that captivates the mind is called the vihasi lasyanga so these are the 10 types of lasyanga as listed and 
discussed in the Sangeet Ratnakar. Now, if we study all the types of last sangha in detail, then we can come to the conclusion that it is a dance form that was performed by women mostly. It is performed in sync with the rhythm and the pace with a unique delicateness. This dance form is extremely sweet, joyful, captivating and beautiful. The principal rasas that are captured in last yanga are Shringara, Vatsalya, Hastya and such. The accompanying instruments are also extremely sweet and calm. It principally uses love songs and devotional songs. The Rasanritya performed by Lord Krishna with his gopis can also be called a Lasya or a Lasyanga. And similarly you can see that in most of the dance styles, in the classical dance styles that one can see today, one practices today, studies today have these kind of songs which are bhava or you can have ashtapadis, you have padams and javalis and such and such, tumris, gat bhav and uh, so forth in all dance styles that can be called lasyanga in some or the other way. So thank you class and please go through the details of the shlokas and try to match the meanings along with and then try to visualize a dance that you perform which you may call one of the last angles. Thank you.